Hello family and friends. Today we're going to plant some ferns and do a little maintenance on our pansies to bring the spring in uh, with our rosemary. Things are warming up. The plants are waking up and it's time to plant. As you can see the pansies here need a little maintenance. See the spent blooms? We take these all the way to the back and pinch them off. And anything else that's burnt or spent looking. See these leaves here? And I like to get all of the leaves that are touching the soil because uh, that welcomes rot and pests. But for right now, I'm gonna jump right on to, to uh, planting this fern. I have to take some soil out. I had some uh, ornamental kale in here during the winter and they're spent. We already got rid of those. So I'm going to take out some soil to make room for this fern. So to keep from making a mess, I'll use the pot that the fern came in. Fill this up. And take out a lot of this soil to make room for this fern. These ferns are drought tolerant, shade loving plants. They have a nice texture and color. And it adds a tropical, tropical feel to your to your landscape your garden or your pots. Very low maintenance. The roots don't look too bad here. It's a nice full one. Look at that. The leaves on this here. Planting this because she was starting to burn a little bit on the tips here. It was just watered. And what we're going to do is pull the leaves back and fill in the dirt around it. But as I'm doing this, I'm making sure that I'm not piling it up onto the plant. And I'm gonna push this dirt down to make sure I don't have air pockets. Flip it over to the other side here. Hold that, Janice. Yeah, thank you. And we'll fill in some good organic soil here. This is the soil that was already there. I usually change my soils out, but I just put this in when I did the uh, did the <laughs> the ornamental kale. Now. Over here, watch out for that solar light. Over here, we are probably going to trim these some more so that we get that Christmas tree look. Still got the lights up there from Christmas time. Um, now that I know that these, these, uh, this, this power pack right here can handle real cold temperatures, I probably won't even take them off. The only reason I would take them off is just so that I could avoid snipping it because I want this to keep that Christmas tree shape. And I know that the temperatures are going to get warm and once we start having consistent warm days, these pansies will be gone. But uh, they look so good that we have decided to let them go as long as possible. So while they're here, we're just going to pull off some of these burnt these burnt leaves cut this back and when you when you deadhead the uh, pansies it diverts the energy into making more blooms see because if you let them seed the plant will think that it's finished doing what it's going to do and the energy it will be diverted to making seed instead of blooms so we get rid of those seed pods and any burnt leaves 
and I'm going to step back and let you see both ferns along with the, the lavender lavender plant. I have a short pot on this side, tall pot, and on this side mirrors, this side mirrors the other, the other side. So all together we have the two ferns with the two tall pots. And over here, you can see my grass needs to be cut. It's getting tall. I was wanting it to, to fill in really good before I, before I cut it. And same thing here. Just basically going around and plucking the spent blooms. And watering uh, quarter lines today. So today was basically about the ferns and getting those in so that they can get some air. I've had them since uh, early, earlier in April, but it was too cold to put them out. Uh, it finally warmed up enough so that the threat of frost is gone. And if we get any, any low temperatures, they're only going to be for a short period of time and shouldn't be any damage. So that's our little bit of maintenance today and planting. Uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.